This session of Teacher Access Center 19.4 is for elementary teachers for grades 3, 4, and 5 only. We will look at categories, we will set up assignments, and enter grades. Before any assignments are created, the course categories must be set up. Since elementary courses all use the category of all work, we have set up the category for you. Now let's go into the TAC gradebook to look at categories. Hover over gradebook and click Setup. If it doesn't go straight to the Categories tab, click the Categories tab. Make sure you are in the course you want to be in. This will show the name of the course and the marking period. If it's not the right course, click Change to select a different course. Make sure the category All Work is correct before you create any assignments. If it is incorrect or has not been predefined for you, contact your campus registrar right away. You may edit only two of the fields on this screen. Click the pencil to edit the number of lowest grades in that particular category that you want to drop. District policy states that no single grade can be worth more than 20% of the nine weeks average, so be careful when dropping grades. This can be changed later if you want to end, wait until the end of the nine weeks to decide. We recommend leaving the exclude missing scores from the average as the default. The other option is to count missing scores as zeros in the student's average, which can be quite alarming to parents and students. To save changes, click the save icon. To cancel changes, click the cancel icon. To change to a different course, click the change button and select a different course. Since the category has been preset and checked, let's create assignments. From the home page, hover over Gradebook and click Setup. Look at the course on the toolbar and click Change if you want to work in a different course. Click the Assignments tab. Click the field for date assigned and the calendar for the current month pops up. Click the appropriate date or leave the field blank. The due date is a required field. Enter the day in a proper format or select from the pop-up calendar. The All Work calendar is already selected for you in the drop-down. Notice it's the only option. Name the assignment in the required title field. Be as descriptive as you can in no more than 255 characters. Use the More button to add more info. For example, if the assignment is a spelling quiz, you can use the More button to type in the spelling words. Generally, you will select Not Extra Credit for your assignments. If you want to have bonus points on an assignment, for an example, an extra 5 point bonus question, you would still select Not Extra Credit. If you wish to create a truly extra credit assignment, see the TAC Manual Extra Credit option. Enter the point value for the assignment next. This does not limit the points that can be entered as a score, so bonus points should not be included here. Because points are used in the formula for calculating averages, this should never be set to zero, and it is a required field. Unless you have a specific plan for varying the weight of assignments within a category utilizing the total points, it is best to leave the point value at 100. If you use varying points for assignments, it will impact the overall weight of each individual assignment. The weight should usually be left at the default of 1. This is used to determine the number of times a particular assignment will count on the overall average. Assignments can weigh more than 1 or even less than 1 using a decimal. However, use great caution when changing the assignment weights so that you adhere to the district requirement that no grade can count for more than 20% of the overall nine weeks average. If you already set up the category to drop one or more of the student's lowest grades, checking the cannot be dropped box allows you to keep this particular assignment from being dropped, even if it is the student's lowest grade in that category. The publish tool determines whether or not the assignment and its scores can be viewed by parents and students in Home Access Center or Hack. Click the green oval once to publish the assignment. Click it twice to publish both the assignment and the scores. 
Clicking Save also enables the file icon. This allows you to attach a file to an assignment if you want to attach an electronic copy of the assignment. This document will be accessible through Home Access Center or Hack as well. To add an attachment, click the Edit icon, click the File folder, browse for your electronic document. Click the Upload icon when you're done, then close the window. Click Save again. To add another assignment, click the plus icon on the toolbar. I've created six assignments for this reading class, and I want the exact same assignments in my other reading class. Let's copy categories and assignments from one course to another. Please be very careful when using this utility, as it's easy to make a mess of your gradebook if it's used incorrectly. You can click the copy icon here, or go to gradebook, copy assignments. Check the Copy From course. If it's not the one from which you want to copy, click Change and find the right course. Select the correct marking period, and choose All Assignments and Categories. If you wish to copy only some of the assignments, drop down Selected. Then click a category, and select only the assignments you wish to copy. Since I want to copy all assignments, I'll change it back to all. Select additional options, then choose the appropriate copy to course. I want to copy to my other reading class, so I'll select it and choose add. Make sure you choose the appropriate marking period. Remember, I'm working in marking period fourth nine weeks, so I'll select the same here. When finished and everything looks correct, I'll choose copy. Now go back to Gradebook, Setup, to make sure it worked as intended. In Reading 408, I have six assignments that I built. If I change to Reading 407, I have the exact same six assignments. Back on the home screen, our categories and assignments have been set up, so it's time to enter student grades. There are two ways to get there from the home screen. You can go to Gradebook Entry, or you can click the Gradebook icon for a particular course on your home screen. Check the course you're currently in. If you wish to see all students in both of your reading sections, click the M for multiple view, or the S for a single section. Click the Change button if you wish to see a different class altogether. The assignments I entered earlier are listed. Hover over an assignment to view more details, or click the assignment header to edit if you are viewing a single section, not multiples. Notice the green oval on each assignment. If I forgot to publish it to Hack when I created it, I can publish it from this screen by clicking the blank oval. Remember, clicking once publishes the assignment in Hack, and clicking twice publishes both the assignment and the grade in Hack. This vertical blue bar helps identify today's date within the assignments. Anything to the right of that is a future date. To enter a grade for a particular student and assignment, click the cell and type in the grade. Hit Enter to go down to the next row, or hit Tab to go sideways. You can also use the up, down, left, and right arrow keys to select an adjacent cell. Notice the black triangle in the corner of the cell. It indicates an unsaved grade because I did not enable the auto save feature. I can manually save grades using this icon here. Or I can change the settings to auto save. Click on a score cell and then right click to open the menu. The cell menu allows you to enter comments, change the grading scale, view attendance, or score history. Additional features are accessible via the assignment header. Click assignment detail to view details and enter scores, comment codes, and comments about a particular assignment. Click the gradebook icon to return to the gradebook. 
Click the Mass Update icon for more options. Update all scores for that assignment when all students should receive the same grade. Choose whether to override existing scores, then click Apply. To remove all grades from an assignment, choose Clear All Scores and Apply. You can even import grades for an assignment from a file. Choose Import Scores from File, Browse for the file, enter the file format details, and then click Import. Notice the class average for an assignment. Click it to sort students in order of the grade for that assignment. Click Name to return to alphabetical order. The Settings icon allows you to hide or show columns. The Performance cell graphically shows students' grades. Click the cell for detailed information. The red exclamation point icon allows you to set indicators to mark certain scores. The show and hide withdrawn students icon allows you to hide inactive students, sort inactive students alphabetically with active students, or list inactive students below the active students on your roster. The Actions and Reports drop-down menu shows several available actions and reports. When finished entering grades for a class, you can change to a different class or click the Home button to use a different gradebook feature. More information on the gradebook can be found in the Umbel ISD TAC manual. Look for it in your tools here.